Hello, my name is Peng Yi. I'm an assistant investigator in Jocelyn Diabetes Centers. So the collaborative project we have been doing with Dr. Svon Kiesler and Dr. Tom Serbold is to find a cure for type 1 diabetes. So if you think about a cure for type 1 diabetes, two things have to be done. On one hand, you have to contain the autoimmune attack. But on the other hand, you still face the fact that you don't have enough beta cell mass. So we have to find a way to regenerate the beta cell mass in order to regain the control of your blood glucose. So my lab has been interested in finding a way to regenerate the beta cell mass. In adult, the regeneration of a pancreatic beta cell are mostly regulated by self-duplication. In other words, beta cell replication. So we have been looking for a way to promote the endogenous beta cell replication. So we can either do this in vivo or in a culture dish to expand the beta cell mass in culture. Then later on, we can do a transplantation to the type 1 diabetes patient. So right now, the focus of my lab is on the molecule we discovered a while ago called beta-trophin. Beta-trophin is a new hormone we discovered and secreted from the liver and the fat when you have a little bit of insulin resistance in the early stage uh, or uh, in a pregnant woman. So this hormone can be used to promote beta cell replication. So here I want to show you two images from the mouse pancreas. On the left is a control animal injected with the control plasmid encoding GLP. So basically you can see the grain staining showing you where the insulin is expressed, where the beta cell is, and the KI67 is a cell replication marker showing you uh, the dividing cells. So basically you can see in the control animals there's almost no dividing cells in the beta cells. But on the right panel, when you overspress beta trophin in the liver, you can see this massive increase of the KI67, the red staining, and a specific to the beta cells. So the specificity is really important because you only want a beta cell to expand. You don't want other cells to expand so you will get tumor. So basically, we have three research directions going on in my lab. First, we want to find the mechanism of beta trophin expression regulation. So basically, we can, if we can find a, a way to uh, turn on or increase the expression of beta trophin in your body, so we can let the endogenous beta trophin do their job. Or a second direction is trying to produce a recombinant beta trophin protein that can, we can inject to to the type 1 diabetes patient. So beta trophin does secrete a protein from liver fat, just like the insulin secreted from beta cells. If we can make a protein in vitro, so we can start to inject, hopefully they will uh, promote the beta cell expansion. So the third direction is trying to find a receptor of a beta trophin protein. So in the past one and a half years, we have been making a lot of progress on these three directions. On the first direction, we have set up a screening platform, so enable us to uh, screen our chemical libraries looking for an activator of a beta trophin expression. The second direction, on the second direction, we have been able to produce an active and a recombinant human beta trophin proteins. And we demonstrate that when you inject this protein into a mouse, you will still see the mouse beta cell replication increase specifically. On the third direction, to look for the beta trophin receptor, we already cloned three candidates beta trophin receptors. Now we are in the process of uh, characterizing this receptor and confirm they are the real receptors. In summary, I hope our multiple approaches on these different research directions will give us different drug targets or drug candidates so for us to use to treat type, type 1 diabetes patients.